Uh, earth Day is a day where we can reflect particularly on how we influence the earth, how our activities have impacts upon the earth uh, and I think more importantly how we can change the types of activities that we have so we live in unison with the earth and it's, it's important for us to understand this because as our populations grow obviously and our needs change we need to keep uh, the earth going so that we can actually keep going as a civilization. Personally yes I mean I personally love natural ecosystems, I love the outdoors. It's part of the reason why I'm here in Trinidad is because it is just a special, beautiful place, a really good part of the world. So personally, I love getting out there into the bush, seeing all the plants and the animals doing their thing. And it relaxes me. It, it, helps my mental state uh, just putting myself into perspective the fact that yeah all I may have troubles I may have problems but really it's so small compared to what is all around us and what is to me so much more important Uh, my, my research as an environmental chemist comes in two categories. Um, the main deals with um, environmental monitoring, which is where we measure um, the quality of water, air and uh, um, soil samples and therefore provide data that um, policy makers can actually use in their decision making. Um, my other research that I deal with deals with um, something called biodiesel. Now biodiesel is an environmentally friendly fuel that is actually made from vegetable oil or any type of lip lipid feedstock. Um, my research focuses on using waste cooking oil. Now the benefits to the environment with waste cooking oil is twofold. So waste cooking oil we usually um, would um, dump it or, or deposit it into the landfills and they usually tend to seep into waterways where they can contaminate groundwater, they can get into surface water where they can cause environmental degradation, um, deplete the oxygen supplies available in water, um, cause e ecosystems to struggle to survive. So with using, producing biodiesel from waste cooking oil, we have the benefits of removing waste oil out of the landfills and therefore recycling it and we convert it into a fuel that is similar to diesel that we can use in vehicles. So uh, it's not only my research, it's research and teaching because I teach topics in green chemistry uh, and chemistry for sustainable uh, technologies and development. And so from a teaching standpoint, I've started uh, getting people involved and helping students to understand that we should be doing things differently. From research, the research carries on from the teaching because I'm always doing research into catalysis for sustainable technology. By that I mean how we can take one material and change it to another material, but in a way that doesn't harm the planet. So for example, I have students that will take, for instance, the grass right here, and we're studying how we can take this grass and extract stuff from, us, from that grass and make that grass into fuel, let us say for your vehicle or for an airplane. Or I have another student that's doing uh, a particular project in which we are again taking grass material and plants and leaves and making that into materials that can be used to make biodegradable plastics that have uh, better functionality than the water bottle that we're currently using. So all of the research that we do is centered around sustainability and how we could transform materials from one form to the other without harming the environment. <laughs>